Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Katherine Kleiss and today I want to talk about covert narcissism, how it differs from overt narcissism and some of those beginning warning signs. Covert narcissism, also known as the vulnerable narcissist or the closet narcissist, is defined by some more introverted and subtle narcissistic tendencies compared to the overt narcissist, which is a more exaggerated, extroverted, um, arrogant type narcissist. The main difference between covert narcissism and overt narcissism is that expression of traits. Overt narcissists express these traits more outwardly. Their sense of entitlement, grandiosity, superiority, all of this is more arrogant and in your face than with the covert narcissist. The covert narcissist tends to hide these traits behind a mask of insecurity and vulnerability. Covert narcissists are more likely to be passive aggressive and engage in that passive aggressive manipulation. In both cases, the need for admiration and self importance and all of that is very, it's at the core. It's just the way that it, it is expressed is different. Understanding these differences can help you interact with narcissists, whether it be in your personal life or in your professional life. So let's discuss some key characteristics of the covert narcissist. Passive aggressive behavior, manipulative and controlling tendencies, projection of negative traits onto others. Their insecurity and humility is going to be masked by a false humility they're gonna have difficulty with self-awareness and reflection. An exaggerated sense of self-importance and a need for admiration, but this is often gonna be masked from the public. They're gonna have difficulty accepting responsibility for their actions. They have a tendency to engage in psychological and emotional abuse. They have a need for control in their relationships, and this is often exercised through gaslighting and manipulation. They have a lack of empathy and a lack of ability to connect with other people. They have a tendency to create toxic and emotionally draining environments for the people in their lives. They have a pattern for exploiting and taking advantage of other people for their personal gain. And they have a fragile ego. They are going to have an overreaction to real or perceived criticism of themselves. Same with rejection, real or perceived. Some early warning signs are that they are going to be charming or charismatic in public, but controlling in private. Another warning sign is going to be the gaslighting. So the impact of narcissists, covert narcissists and otherwise on their relationships is they cause a lot of psychological and emotional distraught and draining environments. They create toxic environments. So let's talk about coping strategies if you're dealing with a covert narcissist. So you're going to want to learn boundary setting. Um, boundary setting is going to be a really, really good tool for you to influence healthy relationships in your life. You're going to want to look into codependency and people pleasing as well. Seek support through the help of friends, therapists, or professionals. And when it comes to moving forward, this is going to be a great opportunity to really, really practice self care, self compassion, self growth, and self development. When you are, coming into awareness about what narcissistic personality disorder is, narcissistic abuse, right? I think a big level of acceptance is that we can't change them, but we can change ourselves, And that's where the self growth and development comes in. We can have a higher sense of self worth so that we don't tolerate this. We can get firm on our boundaries and start developing them, either get them stronger or develop them in the first place if we've never had any we can work on our codependent behaviors that contributes to us bending ourselves to try and make somebody else happy that keeps us dependent and stuck with this person self-compassion and self-care is going to be your best friend at this time covert narcissism can be a really challenging and really damaging experience for a lot of people but understanding the warning signs is going to be a good tool for you to reach that point of acceptance in who they are and start working towards getting better and getting yourself out of this emotionally draining environment thank you for watching my video i hope you found this helpful if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.